Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a, a mini unboxing and review of the iRange XI6 X remote controller. I picked it up on sale on Banggood, it cost me about 40 bucks. And I'm pretty sure this is the same remote as the Flysky FS i6 X. So let's open the box and find out. So this is everything that we've got inside. First of all, we got the remote. This is the mode two, the throttle, it's not a self-centered stick. You're getting the USB cable that allows to update the firmware of the remote controller. And we're getting this eight channel IR88S IBUS SBUS OPPM receiver. This receiver is identical to the FSA8S receiver. So this is Fly Skies and this is the iRange X. And these are basically the same receivers. You can see we have also the same number on the back. And as I suspected, these are the same remotes. So the iRange X and the FSI6X are identical. The only difference is the label on the remote controller. The only difference that I found is the FSI6X came with this receiver. This is a six channel receiver, the FSX6B. And as I said earlier, this came with the IRA8S receiver. This is, I think, a bit lighter and I think probably a better choice. Also, it provides you eight channels, whereas this one provides you with six channels. The FSI6X came with this user manual and the iRange X came without any user manual. So if you're looking for any help, you can use this quick start guide and I'm gonna put a link to this uh, start guide in the description of the video. In order to operate this remote controller, you will need four AA batteries. I've already reviewed the FSI6X, but I'm gonna power it on and give you a brief review of this remote as well. Powering on the remote controller is done by sliding this button up. Then we can see here the version, uh, the mode and the model. And you can see the battery of the transmitter. In order to get to the menu, we have to press the OK for a short press. And then we can choose between system and setup. And OK to get into the desired menu. And then we can change between model, type, between airplane or he helicopter. If you're flying a quadcopter, leave it on airplane. You can copy models, RX setup. Most of this you won't have to deal with it just to get it uh, to basic the basic operation. You can choose output mode between PWM or PPM. In order to save the settings, you will have to show to long press the cancel button. You can see how it's in BPM, cancel, and it was saved. So it will be probably a bit weird, but cancel short like long pressing the cancel button saves the settings. Cancel brings us to the previous menu. And here we can choose all the auxiliary channels, substreams. You can see now, you can choose the source of the channels. You can assign switches. Now in order to assign the auxiliary switches, you will have to go to the system menu. Then go to auxiliary switches and then you can just switch on and off the channels you would like to use. Otherwise, it won't let you uh, select them in the menu we've seen before. By the way, this transmitter supports up to 10 channels. And after long pressing the console, it was saved. And we can go back to this menu. And now we can select here the source of the channel. So now it can be whatever you want. We have here the SWD, which has two positions, SWC with three positions, SWB with two positions, and SWL with two positions as well. In addition, we have these potentiometers, the VRA and the VRB. This can be used for 
for controlling gimbals or whatever that needs continuous sliding like that. Over here we have the sub trim buttons here and here and that's about it. By the way, the provided uh, the receiver that you're getting with this remote controller is already bind, but if you need to bind it, it's, the binding procedure is pretty easy. And you can find the full procedure in the user manual in the description of, of this video. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any question about this remote controller, feel free to ask it in the comment section below. See you on my next videos and goodbye.